this left. We're marking out the distance, the target. A thousand yards going in hundred yard increments. Boy, it's warm out here. So this will be a little less than a half a mil. Howdy there, this is Scott with Hilux Optics. Today you might be wondering why I'm sitting next to a giant orange flywheel. And that's because we're going to shoot it with a lot of bullets at a thousand yards. This time we've gone and made the very professional adult decision of painting this a bright orange and then covering it with blue balloons so that when they pop we should be able to see it wherever the impact happens to land. Behind this I fastened an 18 inch piece of cardboard. That means that at the perimeter this target is going to be a half mil at a thousand yards. Hopefully just enough room for Chris to find it a little difficult to hit this one. Hey guys, this is Chris with Hilux Optics. So today we're gonna to be loading up some rounds for a thousand yard shoot. We did some load development the last couple of weeks at Desert Marksman, and I think I found a node, accuracy node that I wanna work with. So I've been using 41.1 grains of IMR 4451. It's an Enduron powder, it's supposed to be temperature insensitive. Um, I'm getting around 2700 feet per second, and um, the overall length that I'm using is 2.850. I, I think I found a, a, a accuracy note for the when I was doing my depth testing. So I'm going to be shooting the Hornady Match uh, 140 grain bow tail hollow point. Cool. I'm going to knock these out. zeroed and ready to go the night before <laughs> but I think we'll make it work okay Find the darn thing. There we go. Lesson number two. Make sure you know where your target is at a thousand yards. Alright, ready. Yeah, wind's coming from left out there. Maybe five miles an hour. Right. I would say you're right, two targets, high, three targets. Oh, miss. 
that's just left. Elevation good, windage off. Wind is dying down between us and it. Mirage is clearing up too. I'd say you're good for a minimal hold. That's a hit. Nice. That's a hit on the left side. Right, let's go for the right side. That's a hit! Cleared! All balloons down! Nice. There's impact one. There's impact two. Skimming the edges of this 15 inch target. So that's less than two MOA at a thousand yards on wind. Elevation wise, maybe an inch and a half, two inches? Not bad at all. Pretty happy with that. So we're shooting the M1200 and I got it set in for at, at 300 yards. I actually unmounted it for my rifle, put it back. Didn't have a chance to, to confirm zero at 300 yards, but I felt pretty confident with all the work that we did before. I made sure I set it, mounted it um, in the exact same spot. So that kind of gives me a reasonable confidence that my zero is still there. And as you can see, at 1,050 yards, we're able to get two in the 15-inch target. Pretty good. We're able to get two in a row. And now we're going to set it up for Scott. No pressure or anything. So each of these balloons, right now how I'm blowing them up, 1,050 yards will be slightly less than 0.2 mils each. I think in technical terms means they're very small. The spotter scope that y'all were just watching through right now is at a fixed 33 power. Great amount of sharpness, much stronger than again most conventional PRS scopes which typically go up to about a 25 power. And even then, y'all can see how small those were. Cool, let's shoot some things. Okay, uh, uh, elevation good, about two to the left. Maybe the winds switched directions out there. Yeah, it seems like it. I was just holding off left edge. Yeah, actually the Mirage seems like it's going from right to left now. Try maybe holding on the right edge. Okay, um, elevation good, one target to the left. So maybe like, go half a mil off, off to the right. Impact. Hey, hey. All right, you blew up everything. <laughs> All right, I'll try a few more then. Okay. Throughout the bag. Yeah, left to right now, so maybe go half a mil to the left. folks that's me just now with the six o'clock hit i covered it up with balloons before i thought to record it let's see right there big old hit so what do we find out on the m1200 uh so basically the m1200 is pretty much spot on i need to just tune the cam a little bit for the for the round that we're shooting um I set the cam at 9, like 980 and our target was on like 1040, so I could probably fine tune the cam a smidge. But otherwise, it worked phenomenally well. Another very uh, factor could have been, this. we're shooting kind of off a little firm, so it could have been the rifle was canned and not and, and wasn't perfectly level, so the elevation wasn't um, going straight up and down, it was kind of adding a little wind as well. Other than that, the F-1200 worked exactly like I did. 
say that's pretty good. Miss, right, 20 inches, low, half target. Impact. I did a... Rock the target. I did a 0.4 mil hold. We just got the 308 with the 525 scope dialed in for 100. I'm going to dial up, oh god, what was it, 10 point? 10.2. 10.2. And... Okay, let's see what happens. Going straight out to 1,000 with no intermediary shots. Picking up, going point six. Or one point, sorry, one point two. Uh, saw a splash just below the target. Might have missed just off the right edge. At four o'clock. pressure and the, the altitude, density altitude, your elevation, your atmospherics actually come into play. Like it shifted our point of impact for zero point of significant amount. It could also be the wind. But uh, we after we dialed in zero, I actually everything was pretty much our expected value. Uh, got a couple of nice hits over here on the flywheel, which is about 
15 inches across, so about a, a little less than half, one and a half MOA. And we definitely added more hits to this half size Ipsic target. I'd say next time, uh, well, we learned a lot about also holding the wind. It was interesting. In the beginning, we, we saw that the wind was coming left to right about ha half value at about a, a negative 135 degrees, so uh, right around 7 o'clock, 7.30. And then as it was switching, it was also affecting our elevation, so that's something interesting. We had a, when, when it switched directions, we actually had to dial a little bit more elevation and um, hold, uh, it was switching left to right. So. That, that was interesting. I definitely need to work on uh, reading the wind a little bit better, but I think today, um, at least we were able to get hits on, on the target. If we had a little bit bigger of a target, I think we would have hit it more. But um, all in all, I think it was a good, a good experience, and next time we have something to work for.